All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, some security issues with VLANs, and uh, I'll show an additional command uh, used to help lock down your VLANs a little bit. So for VLAN security, um, some of the issues are attackers can spoof being a switch and turn their link into a trunk if it's configured for auto mode. We went over that. So dynamic, dynamic mode is not secure. Make sure your access ports for your hosts and end devices are set to access mode. If you force them into access mode, they won't be using dynamic mode, so it won't be set to dynamic auto by default. So then if they try to bring up uh, their host in dynamic desirable mode to make a trunk, it, it won't work. It'll, it'll say, no, you're an access port you have to deal with it. So make sure you do that. Uh, there's also a problem of double tagging. So uh, this is occasionally an issue of uh, a, a attacker device. Let's draw a little computer here and he's going to be attacking this switch over here. When he sends his uh, frame across the wire, uh, remember I was talking about 802.1Q uh, and we, we were injecting that uh, additional VLAN information in there. You can uh, do two VLAN tags in theory. So what we'll do is have another switch over here. So the idea being he sends a frame over to this switch and in the header there's two VLAN tags. So he has VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. When this frame gets to this switch, this is our host, this is switch 1 and switch 2, when this gets to this switch, this will get stripped off. The VLAN 3 will get stripped off. And then it will send it on its way to wherever it wants to get to, to VLAN 2 over here. Uh, or it could go to a host device or something like that. But the idea being that he can hop over to a different VLAN by adding an additional VLAN tag to the beginning. Uh, and there's, uh, you know, newer firmware and uh, security features prevent this but uh, the outer tag uh, can sometimes do that. And the, the way that works is uh, where VLAN 3 would be the native VLAN and the inner tag is the one that he's trying to get to. So this would be VLAN 3, the outer tag, if this trunk had a native VLAN of 3. So he'd have to know what the native VLAN is. So it helps to have a weird v native VLAN number as well. So that's one issue, that double tagging. Make sure you separate your management traffic from user traffic. So when, when, when you go to manage a switch, you want to make sure that this is on its separate VLAN. So remember how I changed it off of VLAN 1? Get your management off of VLAN 1. Get it onto a separate management VLAN. Separate VLAN for management traffic. And use SSH. Do not use Telnet. Spend the extra five commands and do SSH. It wasn't even five commands, I don't think. It's just use SSH and put it on a separate VLAN. Get it off of your standard user traffic so that way they can't even get to it. So even if a user connects in on his you know, access VLAN number five, well, if my management VLAN is 99 and then you know my IT computer is on 99, if he tries to access that, he's not going to get there anyway because he's not allowed to. He's not on the right VLAN to begin with. So get yourself onto a separate management VLAN. Uh, don't use dynamic mode as I mentioned and um, either uh, either limit the number of VLANs that are over a trunk uh, or prune it with VTP which we'll get to 
coming up. So limit uh, limit uh, VLANs on trunk. And you do that with the allowed command. So let's go back to our topology here. What we can do is go into our switch and if we show VLAN brief we have VLAN 1 and 2. Let's say that I don't want VLAN 1 to traverse this trunk. What I can do is go into my trunk, so I'm going to go into my interface. I'm going to say switch port trunk allowed and then VLAN whatever number we want. So I'm going to allow two but none others. Now you can make that a range as well. So if you could do you can make that additional VLANs as well. But we're just going to do the one. So if we do show run, we take a look at this, look at 24. We have allowed VLAN 2. And we would also help if we made that actually a trunk because we were messing with it last time. So switch port mode trunk. There we go. Over on this switch, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to make it a trunk. And we're going to do switch port trunk allowed VLAN 2. Let's let spanning tree do its thing. There we go. Let's uh, show VLANs. Everything looks okay still. Let's do whoops, show interface trunk. Take a look at our trunk now. Port 24, which is our trunk connection, only allows VLAN 2 on it now. So this is a way that you can uh, prevent people from accessing other areas of your network just based on limiting how far they can get uh, with their with their network with their VLAN. So let's say we had another VLAN here and you know these guys were on uh, these two over here were on VLAN 3 and these were on VLAN 2. If these guys were on VLAN 3 they're not going to be able to get across this trunk because this trunk is only allowing VLAN 2 to begin with. Uh, another method of doing things is uh, limiting what VLANs are added into a switch based on uh, VTP and we'll get into that as well with the pruning uh, option. But with the allowed VLANs, that's another thing you want to take a look at too. Uh, if you're having problems with the trunk, uh, go do a show interface trunk and take a look at what VLANs are allowed on that trunk. By default it's all of them, which is maybe not what you want to do. but if you have a specific set of VLANs to find and you add a new VLAN and then the VLAN's not connecting correctly and you're scratching your head, take a look at the allowed VLAN list that you've configured. See if you need to add that VLAN as an allowed VLAN on that trunk or the trunks up the line. You could have, you know, five switches in line here going back to your core. Um, you may need to do that on, you know, every single layer going up to your core trunk, uh, going up to your core switches. So. Uh, take a look at that as well. So our next video is going to be on layer 3 switching, uh, which is uh, very nice, and uh, we'll show a little bit about that.